Hey everybody, we're gonna teach you simple techniques of how to catch more fish. And I'll tell you, I am no expert, but Little Stinker definitely is. So hang on to your heinies. I'm gonna show you the importance of putting the bait on there the proper way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a night crawler out of here. And like I was saying, the, one of the biggest things is you don't want to, like my dad always taught me this. I'm gonna take a night crawler. I'm fishing panfish, so typically the tail is the best end. Okay, little stinker, I'll tell him why. Why not the head? Okay, well, if the head of it, you can see this, I'll use it right now, is real stiff. Okay, you see that, how it hangs? Now watch this. I'm gonna use the tail of it, and typically what I do is I just thread it right through the cut end, and I thread it around, and I thread it just like that. Now look at the way that that thing moves back and forth. There is not a fish in this pond that can resist this. Now I'm gonna show you the way not to do it, the way that like my dad taught me. So what he, his belief was that you have to cover the whole hook. So now look at this. So I'm gonna thread this crawler on there, thread it on there. Now look at that. You can't really even see the hook anymore on it, but you throw that in there. You know, sometimes fish are gonna bite it if they're absolutely starving to death, but it looks no natural. It's not natural whatsoever. So basically, this is something you don't wanna do. Don't worry about the hook. The line, I'm worried about if it's too heavy, but the hook, I'm definitely not worried about. Here's another great way to hook a crawler, is basically, this really drives them crazy. I'm taking the very center of that worm and hooking them right in the center and you'll see once we get it in the water how it just floats back and forth. 